What it do, y'all? This your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe and hit that like button for me right now, man. Now, before I go on this video here, let me clarify some things. Because I seen some people on the video that I made about Ash and Sanders, they got in their feelings a little bit. Because I cracked on his outfit because I said that his outfit was a little moist. And therefore, that's kind of playing a role in why he can't really psych in that RZA character. Let me tell you something. I ain't apologizing for shit. You don't like this page? Get your ass up out of here. We, this is not no PC shit right here. You don't like the way I talk? You don't like the way we joke? Get your punk ass up out of here. We ain't catering to y'all. I don't give a crap what you do, man. Just get the fuck about my page. I'm not going to sit there and compromise. This ain't no PC politically correct channel, nigga. So get your ass up out of line. Now, with that being said, anybody that follow me know I'm a man of my word. And even when I made that comment about Ashton Sanders, I said that he improved the season two, and he did. But going on to this video here, I'm going to tell y'all about Corey Woods and Sadiq Sanderson. They, them two are killing it right now. I mean, right now it's like you watching Ray and Ghost's relationship grow. Now, let me tell y'all, from what I'm observing this, when I've seen Corey Woods, he's nailing Raekwon from the slang, the mannerisms, the gear. But what what set him as Raekwon, every actor has that moment where they're officially that character. The battle, the chef versus Mev scene, that's where he became Raekwon the chef. Now, Sadiq, on the other side, he kind of struggled at first because he didn't have Ghostface's voice. So it kind of felt like he was kind of playing Ghost, but he got the hot-headed side of Ghost down pat. Then you start really seeing the sensitive side of Ghost, even when his mom's got sick. Then you start seeing him becoming Ghostface, when he started, you know, reading more comic books, you know, doing the comic books and looking at more of the Kung Fu movies. So, episode four is where officially Ashton became Rizzo. Because this was the scene, this was the episode where they had to bring both Ghost and Ray together to form the clan. Because Rizzo had a plan mapped out. And this is the scene where Ashton had to become Rizzo. Now, if you look at it, Ghost wasn't listening to Divine. He wasn't listening to Power. He didn't want to fuck with Ray at all. Even though Ray seemed like he was more open to it, Ghost was still stubborn in his own ways. So, the scene on the boat is where all three of them became certified. When Rizzo became the Rizzo, and he made them niggas squash the beef. So then... As the season goes on, you start seeing Ray and Ghost's relationship develop into something more cool. They started watch, they were watching the killer together. They started bonding a little more. They're trying to get the protect your net single out there. They both going through the frustrations of getting it out there, but they're in it together. Then you see the, the brotherhood starting to really flourish when they was emulating the scenes of the killer together. When they visualize going up there and knocking niggas out to get that demo played. So, they're really killing it right now. they really killing it right now. And you can tell even with Ashton, even though the voice is robotic and may throw somebody a sort of way, it's still cool. Because now the show is really taking over. It's the best show on TV right now. So... Check out these performances. Season 2 is fire right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.